I'm about to teach you the best trick ever. In this, this is for the topping on the creme brulees that I'm making. In this uh, container, I have about three quarters ish of a cup of sugar and enough water just to kind of dissolve it. I'm going to put it in the microwave about six minutes. Use a cloth because it'll be hot. About six minutes or until I think it's the most beautiful, perfect color. I'll be back and show you what to do. This was five minutes and exactly five, 30, five minutes, 30 seconds in the microwave. This may seem like fussy work. I promise you it's not. It's absolutely worth it. Um, you pour it out on a sill pad. Just like this. It hardens pretty quickly. Kind of spread it around. This so it's thin, it, it cools faster. Leave it. What you're going to do is, when this cools completely, this is while the creme brulee is cooking. Do this, it took six minutes, is it, or five and a half minutes. Let this cool completely, and then when it's all the way cool, break it up and throw it in either a food processor or a magic bullet. You want to turn it into dust. And this is what you're going to put on top of the creme brulees. The dust, it's already caramelized. So if you don't have a, a blowtorch, you can just do this underneath the broiler and it'll brown bah, like that. And it won't get burnt spots like if you just try it with plain sugar and it'll do it a lot faster so it won't heat up your creme brulee. So don't, obviously don't touch this for a while. Uh, so when it's all the way cold, turn it into dust, which is, I'm gonna use, I think my magic bullet. And then when I do it on, later on in the creme brulees, I can show you how it is and how it browns up. But this is the best trick you're ever gonna to wanna to know. You're welcome.